Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new series or new playlist. And the playlist is debugging exercises or debugging challenges. What we will do in this particular series, we will take programs. Those programs have bugs. We need to identify the bugs into those programs with the help of debugging. And the major motto of this playlist is to increase our debugging skills. So firstly, we will start with very small, small examples in which bugs will be there. We will detect the bug. We will correct the bug. Then we will slowly, slowly move on to complex examples also. Because if a technical person has to survive, the person should know that debugging, debugging is must. Now we will start with our first debugging exercise or first debugging challenge. So this is the program. I'm running this program. Suppose I'm giving a input to the program. Whenever I'm giving an input to the program, this program is not giving any input. So we need to identify the reason that why, why this program is not giving the output. Firstly, the first most important thing is check. Are you passing a correct input or not? Now, if I will go to the program, in this program, we are fetching data from VBAK table. So firstly, go to VBAK table and check, do you have a order number 1 to 5? What is the input? The input is sales document number. VBELN, VBELN, and what the input we are giving? 1 to 5. Now we are executing. Yes, the details are coming. It means the problem is with the code. There is some mistake in the code. Now we will identify the error or we will identify the bug using debugging. Now, now, whenever you want to debug, always, always make sure your program must be active, active. Because if you are, and if your program is inactive, you will not be able to put the breakpoint. Your program must be active because you will run the program. To run the program, program should be active. So now what we will do? Firstly, we will put a break point. Now the next, next important thing, anyways, it is covered in the debugging playlist also. We can always, always put a break point on executable statement. Executable statement means I can put a break point on this query because this query will execute. This loop will execute, so I can put a breakpoint here, but I cannot put a breakpoint on this declarations. These are declaration. So I can always, always put a breakpoint on executable statements. So how to put a breakpoint? This is the first executable statement. So put a breakpoint. Just put the cursor on the line and put a breakpoint. Now the breakpoint is set. We will run the program. We will give the input 1 to 5. And I am clicking on to execute button. Now always, always go to desktop 3 whenever you are going for debug. Whenever you are going for debugging, desktop 3 is most preferable because you can see the code and variable parallelly, parallelly. Now, now what is the 
input we give. We give the input 1 to 5. And 1 to 5 is what? Select option because we are giving the range. So we gave the input to this S underscore V B E L N. This is the name name of the select option. Just to double click and double click here. We gave the input one to five. That is correct. Now we will simply simply execute this query. Currently, I am on twenty third number line twenty third. Now just see, it will act as one line in SAP because how you identify a line in SAP with the help of dot line starts here, it ends here. So if you want to do line by line execution, you need to do F6 key. Now, you can do F6 through keyboard also, or you can do F6 from here also. Suppose I am doing F6. Based upon this input, it will fetch data from VBAK table. Now, before executing this query, I will double click on internal table also. The C, we have a internal table. Internal table has how many records as of now? Zero records. And how many column? Four column. One, two, three, four. Now I'm doing F6. Now when I did F6, still internal table has zero records. Because if I'm giving one to five as a input, this input is going to which particular column VBELN of VBAK table, it is fetching data of these four columns and data should come to this internal table and just see what is the value of psi sub RC. Psi sub RC is four, four, four means unsuccessful. It means the problem is with this query itself, this query itself. It means we should focus here. What is the problem with this, with this particular query? Now we will go for analysis. Now, what is the problem in the query? Just see, we are fetching data from VBAK table based upon select option, select option. Select option means what? Multiple input, range of input. Whenever you have range of input, can you go for equal to? We cannot go for equal to. If we have a parameter, then we can go for equal to. If we have a select option, compulsory, we need to go for in. See, we have not received any compilation error or syntax error. System is accepting equal to. And many times, many people do this mistake. They will take select option and they will do equal to in the where condition. And they will not get the syntax error. So they think everything is correct. But whenever we will run the program, output will not come. So the reason is, why the output is not there because we used equal to in the where condition. So I will execute simply and now I will change the code and rather than equal to, I will use a. I will use a. Now what I will do, I'll simply check the syntax and activate the program. Now, I will put a again put a breakpoint and show you in the debugging mode. Is it working fine? I'm running the program. I will give the input one to five. I will execute desktop three most preferable desktop. 
Now I'm executing this query using F6. Now you can see size sub RC is zero, zero. And how many records came in the internal table? Five records came in the internal table. It means what our query has executed successfully. If I will execute, we have the five records. So what is the summary of the video? In this particular video, we started with a new playlist or new series that is debugging challenges or debugging exercise. We will firstly start with small, small programs. We will learn how to identify the bugs into those programs. Then slowly, slowly, we will move on to complex one also. And the major agenda is our debugging skills should improve, yes. And we took the first example in which we have input is select option, but we used equal to in the where condition. And it's a common mistake which maximum people will do. And just at that time we debug and we identify, yes, the first query is itself failing. It means the problem is with the first query itself. So we simply, simply replaced equal to by A. Now, main, main thing, if you want these programs, you can drop a mail also to me. Yes, slowly, slowly, whenever we will cover, if you want the programs where in which the programs, the bugs are there, you can drop a mail. I will send this particular program. You can copy paste in your editor, then you can correct paste upon that. So you can also drop a mail. I will send this code to you. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.